Hello and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers action. My name is Specplay and the company, uh, we actually had some issues with the last save. So the company has uh, did the, you know, the heap of bones trial or heap of bones task. But uh, we actually didn't lose as many people this time. We only lost one guy. So that was good. But uh, yeah, my, my, my save didn't didn't go through. So possibly, probably my fault. But uh, yeah, we'll just play on from this anyway. We're not going to do that quest. The two-star quest is out of our realm right now. Um, body profession, doesn't work with these. It's Traveling Mercy Company. Is he a priest? A monk? Um, is Eric a day tailor? We'll get... Uh, We'll hire Coonbert. And that'll be that. We'll just hire one for now. We'll, st we'll stick up uh, some gear on Coonbert. You go over right here, my buddy. You can have that. And what are you good at? 50, 39. Alright, we'll give you a, uh, a spare and a hood. Yeah. What I knew? Yeah. Let that be that, and uh, we'll go up to Id Idzvik. We'll try Idzvik. Speed up time here. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what happens. Pagan Hothland. Idzvik. I got some food too. I have four more days worth of food. Let's get in there. Okay, we got a quest here. Ulfrit, the steward, restlessly walks back and forth while explaining what troubles him. There's been an additious act of thievery. The despicable brigands stole my lockbox, which is immensely valuable to me. I implore you to hunt down these thieves and return that item to me. He lowers his voice, insisting tone. Not only will you get paid handsomely, but you would also set the word minds of the good people of Itzvik to the rest. What's this word to you? 260. 60 crowns in advance, another 260. I want to be paid more. Okay, that's a driver. Uh, let's see what they got here. They got anything? To hit? Yeah, we'll take some grain for sure. And. How are we doing on ammunition? Yeah, we're pretty good on everything else. And do they have anybody to hire? No, not really for us. Rated. Alright, let's see where we gotta go here. Okay, we have to follow these. These guys going this way. We sure can. Getting dusk out. Speed up time here. That's what we're dealing with. Uh, how is the party constructed? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, we're up here. Seven thieves. Two arms. Many brigand thugs. Actually, I'm gonna wait till daytime. Let's go. Engage. Engage. It was raining out. We'll hold off our attack here. Let me get closer. Same thing. Let everybody get closer here. Let's see what they does. Look at that dude's hair. It's a nice haircut. I always gotta be a woodcutter. And that'll be that. Come up the rear. That sword out. See what we got 43, 43, 10. 43, 43. We'll take a shot at you. Oh, nice. 14, 64. Yeah, hurt that guy right there. Reload that shit. And. Here we go. See what happens here. 
My dude's gonna get you bricked. It's gonna get a lot of attention. He yeah, always do. Ooh. Are you fleeing? All right, we'll go with the against. Oh, one shot, one kill. As Magnus uses his pitchfork, he takes it and he swings it right into Buddy's heart. And a brigand, or is it a brigand? Yeah, the brigand tug just lays on the ground, motionless. Thick guy's coming down. Thick guy's gonna go at Ilbrick. Oh, Ilbrick is fleeing. It's not good. Oh, we just give this guy a nice little stab here. Alright, shield it up and go against Big Guy. We'll shoot at this guy right here. This guy's gravely wounded. We'll shoot at the Brigand Tug. Nice shot. Uh, now Gothard's turn. Gothard's gonna... He'll go for the brigand tug. Oh, he just misses a nice dodgy roll. We'll take a shot at this guy right here. Oh, just misses it. Um, get that spear out. Yeah, we'll get that guy a little dark. Oh, sugar. Decapitated. Well, that sucks. Kind of exposes me up the top here. Miss me though. He's wavering. Uh, check a shot here, misses him. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Ooh, he's got two against him. The boys are wavering here. Take a shot at him. Oh, Archer's not hitting. Oh, he takes a hit to the armor there. It hurts his armor. He gets repelled. He's actually... He had to graze neck that time. Graze, he's... Uh, almost went right through his neck. Um, we'll shield wall. 51 to 45. We'll go get this guy. Yeah, nice little hit against his armor. Takes his armor right down. This Gothard takes a hit here. Gothard's gonna... Size up the comp here. He's gonna take a shot at this guy and he, he downs him. One shot. Gothard ain't playing around here. He's gonna move on up here. He's gonna give him a little, little, nice little uh, thing right to the chest. Nice little spear right to the chest here. Actually, pierce his chest. He's gonna try to get away here. He's gonna do nothing, he's gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Oh, nice little hit on him. Alpha's trying to get away here. Ooh, Magnus takes one. We're gonna take a shot at the Brigand Tug, and we actually down him as Erland shoots the Brigand Tug and downs him right where he stands. We're gonna take another shot at this Brigand Tug. Miss him. He actually destroys my shield. Alpha's shield is destroyed. He's not he's not wavering anymore though. I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah, way to go, Spec. And Spec play moves up here and he actually downs the brigand tug. Lash. Uh, we're just gonna try to get this guy a hit here. And we actually do hit. And we'll do another hit against him. Ooh, we're hitting again. Just move up now a little bit. Take it right. Run at this guy. Yeah, way to go, Magnus. Magnus is doing good with that pitchfork here. Um, we're just gonna get anyone gonna move around here. Ooh, can I get a shot at him now? And Erlen's gonna take a shot. Erlen hits him right in the shoulder. He gets a crossbow right to the shoulder. Uh, we're gonna take another shot at him. 
Oh, hits a shield. Uh, we'll move over here. We'll take a spear out. We'll try to hit this guy. And we put it right through his hand. The spear goes right through his hand. Take a shot at him. And now at him. As Gothard kills one more. Speckly coming up here now. Any attempts? And yes, we actually lose Ebrick. As he, uh... He's slain, decapitated, actually. He took part in one battle and uh, had zero kills. Um, let's see what we can get for loot here. We got a woodcutter axe. Oh, we got some botched gamson. That's nice. Um, yeah, that was Everix. We'll take all that. Take everything. Let's leave and go back to town. After battle, a man emerged from a tree line, clasping his hands together. I paid those men a great deal of crowns, but it appears I should have paid you. And now all those skeevy brigands are dead. You tell the man to get to the point before you run him through with a sword. He gestures towards the artifact. I'll pay you 530 crowns for the item. It was originally owned to these teas, plus a little more. What do you say? Mm, we are paid to return. That's what we'll do. Yeah, I'm not going to cross over my dude right away. I need to get more. Uh, I'm trying to build up in his relations with these guys. Um, 260, so that's 3, 320. Yeah, 320 at 762. That'll pull us around 1100. I gotta get a new guy too. There's no one here in Idzvik, so I had to travel somewhere else. Uh, did we get any levels up here? Yes, uh, Gothard. Yeah, and actually, Gothard played a big role in that battle. Um, oh, I forgot to his perk. We'll get him the education perk or student perk. Some crows going in there. So we got 260 here. Ulfred Stewart resting his legs on two on two dogs. Each one passed out top the other. These beats could rip my throat out yet. Look at them. How does that happen? I didn't even train them. Someone else did. I'm a stranger to them, yet they are th here they are. You place the artifact on a man's table, slide it across, he leans forward, takes it, then place it under his desk. When his hand returns, he's got a satchel in hand, he tosses it over. As promised, good work, Hellsword. Alright. Way to go, guys. Uh, so there's no gear here I want. Um. Oh, we can sell this. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Um. Uh, yeah. All right, let's leave. Let's go to south there. We're in the slam hurt. We're in the north Let's go to Throgan. Like, I think we can recruit, recruit a guy here in, in Shamar Forth. Uh, what do we have? Five more days. Fourteen more days. We need two tools. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Oh, there's brigands here. Are they chasing us? Not ready to fight yet. I need to get another guy here. And move in on those guys if they attack them. Oh, we got a quest here we can do now. Um, Gerhard, actually, Eric, and Gerhard. All right, two of these guys. All right, we'll have a look at what they are now. But Eric, um, he's tiny, which is good and bad. He's an optimist. And. Fearless. Gerhard is fearless and a good spirit. Great. Alright, we'll get these guys out. We'll get. Uh, actually. Uh, he has a Gameson. He's a rugged surcoat. Alright, so he, he's gonna get first dibs on it because he's been with the party longer. And he needs a new shield. Alright, that, that does him. You, my friend. Actually, you get it because you've been with the party longer. That's the rules. That's 20. That's 20. You grab this, though. You're on the front lines. Um, we'll put this old spear in your hand. 
I'm gonna give you an ancient spear. How about that? Now, you, my friend, you'll back up right here. You'll just be like a blanker. Give you a bucky. And we'll give you a flax. Decapitate. Nice. You're not much good of it yet, yeah, but, uh... Actually, we'll give you this, too. Alright, let's look at this, uh... A cowl-shaded man hisses at you, his teeth and nose winking, momentarily from the dark of his hood. You have no time for lepers, or jokers, and demand a man get out of your way. Instead, he starts talking, my master requires your service. He serve your exploits, follow me, and I shall take you to him. You rest your hand and handle your sword and nod. Thorof of Schlumbert saw as, as if he's tired of all these troubles, as though he's about to start a conversation he's already had many times before. Ina, the man in some port here, states that brigands made a pass on his daughters. Now he's worried what to do next. Luckily, that man has some wealth and could easily track these brigands down. If I were to pay you a decent sum, how earnestly could you draw the, or drive one of them swords of yours through the brigand or two? How much are you talking about? 90, may pay more. I'll take that offer. Let's go. Oh, do these guys have any gear here? We get a shield. Put that shield on you, my buddy. You get the shield here. There you go. Let's leave. Let's go up here to the hideout. We'll wait till dawn, too, before we go and attack these guys. Just in case. Just in case they want to. Like, my archers had the daytime bonus, or you know, the penalty of nighttime. I don't like that. Yes, yeah, so I'll just wait for another little bit. Okay, here we go. Right into it. Right into the battle. The greedy hearts hide out. Many thugs. Let's get in here. Let's fight these many thugs. Thug on my heart. Wait for them to get close. Guys, look a little bit better. Defend it. Guys are coming towards this side here. You, you ain't gonna do anything. That spear out. Alright, with 10. 43. That 43? Ooh, just miss. 64. Got this guy. Oh, we hit him. Hit that dude. Reload that. That spear out there. Go see what happens here. Just wait with him. They're just waiting. We're gonna wait too. <laughs> we'll just take one of these guys down while they eat. Alright, we'll just kill one of these guys. We'll send an arrow to him. Oh, we actually hit the guy behind him. Take that. Oh, they actually did make the right play and waiting there because I can't get my, my spirit now. Gonna move up here. Oh, he's gonna cast repost. Oh, he's trying to break my shield. We can get a shot at this guy though. 
Oh, hit his little buckler. Magnus tried again. Alright, these guys are playing it very defensively. We're gonna take a shot at him, yeah. We'll reach through his hand. Pierce his hand as, as Erland notches back a crossbow bolt and he actually gets him right in the hand. Beautiful. Reload that. Uh, we're gonna shoot the same guy. Volmar is not the uh, as good of a shot here. Way to go, Gothat. Magnus now. Killer of Magnus has become. He's gonna he's gonna hit again. Magnus is deadly with a pitchfork. Woodcutter guy is gonna go up next to the tree. Shield it up. We're gonna hit this guy right here. Oh, we're hitting right in the head. We actually broke his nose. This Alfred takes his flail, rips it around, and try to. Oh, spec play shield is broken now. He's vulnerable. He has a post? No. It's a pierced hand. We're gonna try to gut this guy. He has a pierced hand now and cut arms to new. This guy's really hurting. Shield at you. Spec play now. I'm trying to get this guy, you actually do. One down. And you get two down. Spec play, double kill. Oh, that just uh, was a huge, huge deal here as Kunbrit is going to try to pierce this guy. Woodcutter don't do anything. Spec play. Getting targeted now. Ooh, Magnus with a rare miss here. Magnus has been on fire. Ooh. Kunbrit takes a hit. It's all right though. Um, Erlen's gonna try to get this brigand dog, and he actually one shots him and knocks him back. Erlen knocks back the crossbow bolt and actually puts it right into the chest of the brigand dog. Beautiful shot. All right. Let's desperate to get an action here. He's gonna shield up though. Wait. Yeah, wait for this. Oh, he broke his shield. Volmar hasn't got the skill as an Erland, and he's just trying to do something, but he can't do as much. Gerhardt's shield broke. I'll take down this guy pretty quick. Oh, he pierced his hand. We're have taken down. Oh, he's on dead store. Spec play now. I'm trying to signal at this guy. Spec play with a hit to him. The group up on this guy right here. He's actually fleeing. Oh man! Oh man! He's actually got a graze nick that time. And it's Gothard hitting with the axe. Eric now is going to try to get an action. He's going to try to end this guy, but he don't. Was flames too. So we're going to take a shot at this this dude right here. Beautiful shot there. We'll take a shot at the tug here. Can't get him. And Volmar trying to redeem himself. Actually do hit, hit the brigand tug. Now Eric is going to try to take down the brigand tug. He can't get his kill. Um, this is Gerhard. Gerhard is going to try to take him down. And he actually do take him down. He's going to go for a double kill. Ooh, he punched his pierce. He saw with his spear. As he jams it right into the tug side. Shield. And this battle is just about done. Spec play finishes it off. So boys, everybody did good. We'll do our upgrades here. We'll take our gear back from this battle. Beautiful. Good fight, boys. That was a big one. Big one for the boys. Um, we'll do our levels up here. Alfred levels up. More hit points. Um, we'll give him some range. He's pretty good on that. Initial's pretty good, too. More fatigue. So good to have. Uh, perk. He'll be a student. Now spec play. Um, level up here, Specky. Four on the health. Defense is huge for spec. And keep on going on that fatigue. Fatigue. Uh, he gets a new perk. Damage against targets that sustain any injuries. Bullseye. Dodge.
That dodge is pretty good too. We'll take uh, Colossus with spec. Upgrade his health. All right. Yeah. He's like a defensive. As Magnus gets now, Magnus is turning into a beast back there. Um, it's all about to attack with Magnus. The defense up. And. An initiative up. I thought that's craziness. Um, take Executioner. That's what Magnus is the Executioner. Oh, we got some more levels up to do here. Um, yeah, Volmar needs to get his levels up here. He needs to improve on that bow. He's actually really good in the melee, though. Maybe I. Oh, a bow defense. Range defense. And. We'll get his initiative up in a little bit. Perky. Take students so he can get those better faster. And that'll be it. And we'll go back to town and get our reward. And that'll be it for this episode. Beautiful. No one. No big deaths. We had a couple small deaths, but nothing, nothing too major. Dwarf Shlamis' desk is blank and dirty and unfrozen scrolls. He's smiling warmly over them as he's crooning over a pile of treasure. Trade deals. Trade deals everywhere. Happy farmers. Happy families. Everyone's happy. Ah, it's good to be me. And of course, it's good to be you, Selsor, because your pockets just got a bit heavier. The man tosses you a small purse your way, then another and another. I would have paid with a larger satchel, but I just don't like doing that. He cheekily tosses not a purse, but you casually catch with the sword of a muse up bomb of a man who still has fresh blood on his sword. You gain 360 crowns. Beautiful. Alright, we'll end it there. Now I'm gonna save the campaign right here on YouTube One. Did it. Alright, make sure it's done. Yeah, I'll end the video here. Thanks so much for watching, and please, like always, please subscribe and leave a like, it helps it so much. See you guys later.